It looks like Cabez not, he's, he's shaking his head. Delaray screaming on to carry on. Is he going to continue? But Come on, Cabez shaking his head. We can't see. Clearly not Simon Stevens' favorite fighter. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's going to listen to this commentary and kill me. Oh, Ooh, and oh. a nice left. Cabez really Just missed. In. Oh, and Delaray better be careful because Cabez is throwing bombs right now. Yeah, he's really waiting in. Stefan's going to look for the opening and try for the takedown. I mean, I, I know he's got some decent striking and stuff, but Amici has some very, very dangerous hands. He's got some KOs in his amateur career. Oh, and Cabez is on target. Watch yeah, out, folks. He's really going for isn't he? Checking the range. And yet, even though Amici Cabez coming in with a lot of speed and some big hands. Oh, down goes Delaware. I think, I, think, I, think, I think that was a trick more than anything. I don't think he got oh, Watch out, though. I don't think he got hit. He's going to have to shoot or something. I think it was a bit of a, yeah, that's what I, that's I, what I expected early from him. Oh, and there's a right hand. Firing right back is DQ. Yeah, it was a nice. We are talking Dairy Queen. He had, to, quite, he had quite a leg kick for that, Stefan, though, did. And another one that's going to light him up. The welts are starting. Another one as well. Oh, he's not checking them at all, is he? He's just no, he's just taking them. He goes up top. Cabea does not jump on him. Nope. Smart move by Cabea. Let's him back up. Well, that was a nasty roundhouse. On the inside of the right leg of Stephen Delaray. And there's another combo by four faces. Yeah, he's got welts on both legs now. Oh. Another trip. Hope he feels better out there, wherever he's at. He is in the hospital getting fluids. It's, I think it's the first uh, first event he's ever missed in almost 10 years of the EFC. So he's going to be serious. Oh, that's a beautiful oh, spinning back kick. Jeez! Spinning back kick right on the jaw. And somehow, Cabea is still standing he, he nodded. and still throwing. <laughs> he nodded in approval, didn't he? He just shrug it off and said, yeah, that was, that was a good shot. It's like a ball. Cabea, man, not backing up. That means Delaray cannot leave his guard down. Another right hand. Oh, these guys are starting to put some fists on each other. That's exactly what I wanted to see. It was a nasty leg kick. And it folded Amici's right left leg a bit. I don't know, does Cabea have like steel plates in his head or what, man? This guy is taking some devastating oh, shots. Shot well. Final both. seconds by Delaray. This is like episode of Rock and Soccer, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good call. Nice rock and stuff. Battle of Pretoria here. Both fighters training out of Pretoria. And Brothers Arms won at CIT. So we got a lot of fans in attendance for both fighters here. Split down the middle. Yeah, I know we talk about CIT a lot. But shout out to BIA. Yeah. There's all those camps that people thought would be a fly by night. And stuff. Comes down. Did he pull guard or get a stumble? I think it may have been a. Uh, Potential takedown. Stefan though has a beautiful triangle. Absolutely stunning triangle. Look at these palm strikes to the side of the head. Nice little short shots that do not feel good. He's so fast. He's sweeping around. There it is. He's trying Watch to get it around. Out. He's locked it in. Of course, we know who the jits coach at CIT is. Now, not, not seeing, but he's got he's a triangle him locked in. If he can pull on that head. He's got it locked in. He's doing exactly. He's listening to you, Cyrus Fiza. Mr. Cabez is doing his best to posture up. Baby. He's trying his best to tight. But Cabello's fighting. What a warrior. He has to pull down if he gets his right hand around and pulls down on his left leg. And oh, man, to... that's like a vice. Now he's got the back of the head. Oh, that has to be tight. He's got a good transition to the arm bar there sometimes in position, has Steph. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He could turn him into it. He's definitely locked in. Cabello's a lot of time absolute... to go, too, and Cabello. Just trying to sneak some stuff in there. He's going to go for the armbar. Yep, going to pull it out. Going to reverse armbar. Here it comes. He got it tight. Can't see it from here, Four but I think faces. it's in. He's pulling on it. He's wrenching on it. He's doing all he can. He's going to sneak under his left arm and see if he can get more leverage. I think he might get out. I think out. he might get out, indeed. I think he's let go oh, of it. Oh, wow. What a warrior. Four faces. And Stefan's trying to scramble to his feet. So be careful with his neck. He's leaving out a little bit. Cabea gets his right arm and snakes, snakes it around likewise. Now, technique-wise, it's all oh, Delaray. <laughs> but place. now, big shots. Watch out. Oh, Cabea he's trying not going to finish. Out of, he needs to get out of here. He rolls. He does the right thing and rolls over onto his back. Cabea very happy in half side. What a battle here. These two oh, fighting fight. it out for fight of the night here. They may have some uh, little extra.
some money coming out to the fight. Um, Kupe is one thing he is tough. He reads off that little triangle, and Steph's got a little bit of a cut over his left eye there from that elbow. Oh, yeah, now the blood coming. You're absolutely right. Particularly Streaming deep. down. Not particularly deep, but still some nasty shots there. Steph doing well Kupe to push off. Kupe so much resilience here. Am I right, Simon? I mean... Oh, without a shadow of doubt. But is this the kind of fight that these kind of CIT fighters like so well? I'm trying to trying to isolate the right arm there. I was just going to say, we know who the new Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu oh. coach is at CIT is, and that's Marky Hume. And, that's and, we, right. know, and we know what a great Jiu-Jitsu coach Mark Hume is. Mark Hume. He's trying, he's still he's still trying, to the hex one day. Still trying for the arm lock. No dice from the that's for sure. He's holding off for dear life. Mm -hmm. Great attacks up. And oh. Cabello! 20 seconds to go. Right hands coming down. Del Rey trying to absorb it with his mustache. <laughs> the Tash defense. <laughs> oh, oh, this is nice close. Shot. He's still trying to scramble. He's all found his back again. He's really not being able to escape too much. He's oh, taking some nasty Ray's shots. He might he's really hurt. Oh, and he survives. Oh, Incredible. Oh, oh, look at both oh, of these fighters. Look at this. What a picture that is. They're both still on their butts looking at each other. It looks like Cabell's not, he's, he's shaking his head. Delaray screaming out to carry on. Is he going to continue? Come on, Cabell's shaking his head. We can't see it, folks, but Cabell's shaking his head. Is he going to be a to go back. submission? Is he going to fight? He wants the towel. The Misa Cabell wants the towel. His corner is saying they're not going to throw it to him. He says she's trying to call timeout. I don't think timeout's an option. The crowd wants him to fight. We've seen fighters fight with one arm before. Again, I think he's just trying to push his shoulder back Call in. Call it. This fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Wow. DQ Delaray continues on his upward trajectory. Now going three and two in the EFC after coming in with such promise. Great to see, but a sad way for Amisa Kabe. It could have been this key lock that he was trying on that right shoulder. It really wasn't going. It didn't look to me like it was locked in. He was going for the key lock and thinking about the Kimura, but he had it, and he was wrenching away. It was a difficult position for him, and there we go. You can just see his arm hyperextending just a little bit there for, a, for half a second. It looks pretty fast and slow-mo as it is, but it's just that little wrench you need on one of the lateral muscles on the side of the inside of the shoulder, and he's just unable to continue. And we've seen Amisa Kabea. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brad Block calls a stop to the contest in one second into round number three, declaring your winner by tap out due to verbal submission, Stefan DQ Delaray.